Hi everybody and welcome. Thank you very much for joining me for this read. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so I will let you guys know this is going to be a general read so it may or may not resonate with you. Uh, that's just fine guys. You'll know if the message is meant for you because it's just going to make sense. Uh, also we are going to draw a tarot token at the end of this read. It's going to kind of be like our energy card. Fork in the road. You know someone is being brought to a decision here. Somebody, I feel like it's outside forces that are bringing this to bear. Hmm, chop wood. You know, and I have this distinct impression that somebody tried to help someone. <clears throat> like they tried to help them. You know, if they're trying to give them wisdom, trying to make things easier for them, trying to stop them from heading in a wrong direction. It's like somebody had to find something out for themselves. I do feel like this bless card is tied to chop wood. And to whoever was sort of trying to save them a bit of trouble. Peace. Hmm. I feel a separation in these energies too. Like somebody just had to step back and walk away. Like they tried a lot. They tried and tried and tried to help somebody. And somebody would just not hear it. Like refuse to listen. Uh, refuse to consider somebody else's point of view. And someone had to just step away like for their own peace of mind. And somebody who is sort of facing this this fork in the road that fates has sort of played a hand in bringing them to and and trying to help them change the direction of their life make different choices they are facing this change in the wind i feel like their life is in chaos their life is up in the air I feel like they have a lot of loss like they have a lot of loss observer i do feel like someone's been keeping an eye on them too like, I, I'm not technically telling something, someone something they don't already know. Like, you know that this person you've tried to help is sort of in this situation. Now, they're in some sort of chaos. So, you've got to have some sort of connection. Maybe this is through friends, through families. You run in the same sort of social circles. Uh, this might even be through the internet. This could even be your intuition telling you this. Like, you know somebody's in the shit. It's milk and honey. See, I feel like this is somebody who could have had milk and honey. This is what you were trying to give them. You're trying to give them this abundance. You were trying to give them this, this happiness, like a sweet life. You're trying to give them a sweet life. And like someone just didn't want to hear it. Somebody didn't want to do the work. They didn't want to do the other half of this relationship, right? Like an even give and take. Uh, it's like having to cut ties. Tired of going round and round in freaking circles. Somebody not doing uh, possibly what they promised they would do or just not being able to hear it or see it and just telling you like you're the one with the problem or something. Uh, it's like it's like zero self-awareness. This is what I feel on the cards. Like somebody just was not aware that they were even going round and round in circles. And the one who was was like, it's time to go. I can't co-create with this person. If this person is my soulmate, uh, like soulmates don't treat each other like this. You know, this person is not my soulmate. You know, it's needing to move on. Needing to move on. No place like home. Go. Oh my goodness. Okay, I got a pretty straightforward message from Tarot. A lot of times I, I will see words in my mind. And, and it's like I'm being shown this. Uh, I actually saw the words. And this is, I don't like saying things like this because it feels really mean. And I feel like these messages are sometimes, it's hard to hear if there's no compassion in them. It's like, go kick rocks. I have a distinct impression whoever this is is going to come crawling back uh, trying to get back into somebody's house because their life is in chaos. Uh, they're coming back to whoever tried to help them to begin with and I feel like they're going to get told to go kick rocks. Like it's going to be a really not nice a really not nice message. I feel that in this go the distance card uh, as, as not anything I felt in that card before I feel like somebody's going to be like, you You did this to yourself. You manifested this for yourself. This treasure island is about manifesting. It's like an as above, so below kind of thing. Uh, and it's like this person's choices dictated their situation in life. They weren't willing to put in with a relationship with somebody who was willing to build for milk and honey. Uh, they, it's like they just wanted to go round and round in whatever circle this was and someone got sick of it and for their own their own sanity, their own sake, they had to walk away. They had to have this time to go and separate and, and sort of look after themselves, this self-care. And like this person's life is, has gone to chaos since then. We do have yin. Yeah, I feel like this person is coming back. I feel like this person is coming back. 
their between worlds. Mm. I don't feel like it's just between worlds. I feel like there might be a between relationships here as well. Like whatever they, they wanted to go to or whatever they thought that they were going to. And it could have even been another romantic relationship. Like it completely went to hell. And they have sort of this in between and they don't know where to go. And instead of, you know, getting their feet under them, doing it themselves, they're like, hey, maybe so-and-so will take care of me uh, until I can figure something out. And then I feel like it's like ditch again. Like it's, it's trying to key up this same cycle that was there before. I feel like tarot has a very harsh harsh message. I actually keep seeing in my mind, like, go go kick rocks, go kick rocks. It's like tarot is telling this person to go kick rocks, like don't come crawling back kind of thing. I don't feel that tarot often tells things like that. Tarot is more like, here's the situation, this is what's going on. Uh, this, If you do this, kind of this is probably where it's gonna lead. If you do this, and this is probably where it's gonna lead and it's up to you to make your choice. I feel like, Tarot is really angry. I keep seeing that like go kick rocks. Like this five of pentacles is where they're at. This person might even be homeless at this point in time. Homeless and penniless. Uh, this is about a situation they created for themselves. They could have had a happy home. They could have had ten and cups, milk and honey with somebody. They made their choice to move away from that, to move in a different direction, to leave it behind. Again, the hangman is like, this person did it to themselves. It keeps coming through in tarot. Uh, it's like, you did this, you did this to yourself. I don't know if this is something that that whoever tried to build with them is going to say when this person comes crawling back like it's it's like a chance to sort of rip them a new one or a chance to just like let it all out and vent because somebody tried to put in a lot of hard work and then this person who left this person who is now experiencing this this five of pentacles who's in between worlds who's sort of like penniless possibly homeless they didn't want to put the work in. If you don't want to put the work in, you're never going to get the good results, right? So don't bother feeling sorry for yourself because you created the situation for yourself. Uh, Knight of Swords. Oh, you know, and I do feel in this Knight of Swords, this person's like a right fighter. So I feel like even when this comes around, when this person comes crawling back, they they still don't get it. It's, it's like this cycle. It's still this cycle. And this is maybe why this, this message is coming on so strong from tarot. Uh, because tarot does uh, tap into things that we don't know, things that we don't see. Uh, even spirit, right, on the other side of the veil. They have a certain, tarot has a certain insight that we don't always get. And I feel like tarot is like really irritated with this person. It's like they're coming along and I, I feel like they're going to try and get back in. They're going to try and sort of make amends, try and rekindle this relationship. Uh, but it's not for, it's not for the right reasons. It's like it's for some sort of benefit for themselves. They're more of this page energy. They don't have a lot to offer. They don't have maturity. They don't have insight. There's no hard work behind any of this. This is like just, just looking for help. Just looking for help during a time because... Uh, they're going towards a knight of pentacles. This is what you were for them for a very long time. You were this knight of pentacles. The knight of pentacles represents somebody who's like a steady Eddie. Somebody who is in it for the long haul. Someone who you can count on when the chips are down. They're right there. They got your back. That's what they're after. I feel like this was part of the cycle that you got tired of and sort of had to bring to an end. I was like, I'm not going to be your steady Eddie anymore. I'm not going to uh, be there to wipe your ass when you screw up. It's like, this is something you're going to have to take responsibility for in your own life. You're going to have to figure your own shit out. I do believe the temperance card is speaking to that too. It's that balance, balance between emotion and logic, uh, being able to, to keep your passions in check, to keep your emotions in check, uh, to sometimes do the hard thing, even though it's not fun, but it has to get done. So you do it, you suck it up and you do it. And I feel like somebody doesn't want to suck it up and do it. We still have, have this four of cups here. And this is definitely what this person was like when this relationship existed. They didn't put in any kind of emotional effort uh, to infest, uh, to build. There's like that, that eight of pentacles in reverse says it all. No hard work. Don't want to put in the hard work. Don't want to learn. Don't want to put in the hard work. Like now when they come back, they come back to this, this Knight of Pentacles, this steady Eddie looking to reach out. This is going to be the steady Eddie now. So like, I don't want, I don't want whatever you have to offer. Like somebody's had enough. Whew, we got a lot of these in reverse. You know what? They don't even want to fight either. That, 
that uh, five of wands, it's about conflict. I feel like somebody doesn't even want the conflict. They don't even want the fight. They don't want to argue with somebody. They don't want to argue with someone. It's like you're not worth arguing with. You're not worth spending the time, the effort on. It's like this person, this person is not, I feel like they're not going to be like their emperor. You know, when I say that, this emperor to me, a lot of times he has authority, he has success, he has self-confidence, like somebody expects to be cared for. Like they expect uh, this, this knight of pentacles to be their emperor, to just care for them, look after them, and they can just do whatever they want. That's their wish fulfillment. It's like, I'm not going to be your wish fulfillment. Your wish fulfillment does nothing for me. Queen of pentacles. Queen of pentacles. Uh, this is like somebody who's see pentacles 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 we're looking for money looking for money looking for financial help she's in reverse she ain't gonna get it she's not gonna get it she's barking up the wrong tree it's like she has she has no power over this person anymore uh this reverse queen of pentacles this page of pentacles has no control over this emperor over this steady eddie it's like somebody knows that they are no longer going to build because I feel like part of this coming back is going to be like, I'm ready to start fresh. I'm ready to start new. I'm ready to build with you now. This is going to be some manipulation that comes about, guys. Um, so we're going to grab a few more here. I feel like that's going to be part of the line uh, that they give somebody. I'm going to build with you. I'm ready. I'm ready now. I'm ready to build. But it's not. It's still sitting in like this looking for nine of cups, looking for wish fulfillment, looking for uh, someone to care for them. I do feel like the word marriage is going to be thrown around because these people I, I do not feel a marriage connection behind them so they are not married these people are not married i don't know if they were at some point but they are not married that that is severed but i do feel like this is going to be part of what somebody's peddling part of what somebody's offering i'm ready for a deeper commitment i'm ready for marriage i'm ready to build they're not though they're not willing to do the work to bring balance to this relationship. They're still just looking for, to play the field. They're looking for lovers. They're looking for just a tryst. They're looking for something that's going to give them just what they want. They don't want to have to put any effort into it. Like nothing's changed. Nothing's changed. That sun card is usually a good omen card. It represents positive things manifesting. It's just saying that this lover's card, this is what this person is genuinely after. They're not after balance. They're not after a deeper commitment like marriage. This person is just looking after fulfilling their own wishes. That's what they want. And devil card on the hermit. The devil is a destructive force, it is manipulative. And this is part of what this person is bringing forward this queen of pentacles is going to be bringing forward manipulation to try and get back into somebody's life but this queen is a destructive force in this emperor's life that's what she she just like just sucks from them just takes just takes and takes and doesn't give there's no balance there's no even balance here this hermit card belongs to this emperor when this queen comes back when she starts laying it on thick so going into this this hermit mode and being able to really reflect Reflect on this person's words, reflect on their past behavior, reflect on their past words too, and remember that cycle. Remember that cycle, how it starts. And I do believe that that lies have been a part of that in the past. I do feel it's going to be similar lies to what she tells when she comes back. That Queen of Swords tells me the same thing. There is, there is no emotional investment here. There's no truth, there's no honesty, there's no integrity. This person is, is going to say whatever they feel like they need to say to be able to get what they want because they're in this Page of Swords energy. Uh, they're, they're selfish and they're immature and they're vain. This is, this is a pretty harsh one. I feel like Tarot is being really harsh in this, but I these are the words that keep coming into my mind. And I, I do keep seeing that kick rocks, kick rocks, kick rocks. The two of pentacles is, is like this juggling. They're going to try and juggle the truth. They're going to try and juggle this emperor in some way to get what they want. Do you feel like guilt might be a part of that sort of laying on thick, that guilt saying, oh, I, I have nowhere to go. I have no money. I have no, like really laying it on thick, trying to make their burdens somebody else's burdens so that they can get looked after and they can enjoy the milk and honey again that somebody else has earned. I'm going to grab a few more here. 
Like I said, I feel like Tarot's being a little harsh in this one, uh, but these are the words that keep coming into my mind. These are the messages that I'm getting. This King of Wands, this is this Emperor. This is somebody who can attract a positive relationship should they choose to do it. Like, I, I just see like, you can do better. This is, I've never seen words like this before. They're coming into my mind. They're like, you can do better. Don't settle, don't settle. You can do better. Remember the past. Remember that this person was greedy. Remember that they're emotionally manipulative. This is their karma. This is their karma. If they want to live through life like this, they want to they go through life taking advantage of people, not building, uh, taking what other people have. Like, don't be surprised when they have nothing to fall back on when it goes to shit because they didn't earn anything. They don't have anything put away. They didn't build for themselves. Uh, I do feel like this person is running out of being attractive. So I feel like they're getting probably a little long in the tooth, probably getting a little, oh, Tarot's really, really being harsh in this one. I feel like their options are limited, like not very physically attractive. They might've been at one point. I feel like that's, that's getting less and less for whatever reason, whether this is age or maybe it's partying and drinking, I don't know. Uh, but I feel like less and less, and that's why this queen is in reverse. She is not a, as attractive as she used to be. She is having trouble uh, sort of finding other options and finding a different path to take. And so uh, she's coming back to someone who she was able to manipulate in the past with lies. And she's gonna try it again with this fake, let's rekindle our relationship. I'm ready to try again. Like I said, the word marriage is gonna get thrown around getting married and making that deeper commitment. Like I'm ready to do that. I'm not ready to do that. This person is looking, they're feeling sorry for themselves. This, the six of wands is about recognition. And it's like recognizing that this person just feels sorry for themselves. That's, that's their game. That's what they're after. That's who they're concerned about. Numero uno, right? And I do feel like there's a need to defend oneself are their morals, their values, the new life that they're building. We do have this high priestess too here. As she is in reverse, she can speak to secrets too, things in the dark coming to light. Uh, I do feel like this is gonna be part of this conversation when this person comes back in, bringing all these things from the past forward, sort of bringing it to light. And then you said this to me before, and this is how it went. Like what's gonna be different this time? I do feel like somebody's gonna have to defend Somebody's gonna have to defend here uh, and go into that hermit mode. Remember the past, remember the cycles. And they will have a decision to make when this comes about because this person is coming back. Their life has gone to shit. They feel like they have nowhere else to turn. And so they're gonna come back to someone they could manipulate in the past and they're gonna be working at it again. I just keep seeing those, those words in my mind, go kick rocks, go kick rocks. So that is definitely what, what Tarot is saying. I'm surprised Tarot's got some sort of an opinion in here. Uh, we do have temperance. Temperance is that balance, finding a balance between emotion, between logic. When this person starts running their games, being able to step back into that hermit mode, pull emotion out of it and sort of look at things logically. Remember the past, the behaviors of the past and being able to recognize a pattern that is trying to start up again. I do feel like that is the message behind this read today. I was a little bit, like I said, I was a little bit harsh for somebody I feel like Tara was really angry in this read and had to bring it forward like that. Alrighty guys, if you enjoyed the read, uh, if, if it resonated with you, please hit that like button, that subscribe, and feel free to comment. Take care.